Paula, this is uh, Dawn Thomas from Belton, Missouri, and today I'm going to make uh, the first of many desserts for you. Um, I'm known as the Cheesecake Master, and I make lots of different variations of um, cheesecake. Today I'm making my Cheesecake Bites. Um, you can put berries on them. Today we're going to put fresh strawberries and raspberries. It's really, really good, but if you don't like berries, then keep them out. If you like blueberries, add those. You know, you can make it your own. Um, I'm going to show you how I do the strawberries. I've done most of them. Um, this is a pound and a half. Um, just cut the top off and then slice them like that. Let me show you one more. Top off. They don't have to be perfect, but you don't want them to be really small. Okay, that's a good size like that. Okay. I haven't washed these yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put some cold water in there and give them a good mix. What you're trying to do, Paula, and uh, everybody else, is you're trying to get all those, um, as many of those seeds off as you can, because, you know, they get stuck in your teeth and nobody really likes that. So fill it up, drain it in your colander. I'm going to do that um, three or four times. Today we're going to use some sugar. And you're basically just going to cover the strawberries. I'm just going to use like two and a half teaspoons. And that wasn't a um, measuring teaspoon. It was just a, you know, cereal spoon. Give them a good mix. Because you don't want that sugar to clump up. Now, we're going to put this in the fridge, this mini um, muffin tin, and as you can see, it's kind of um, glossy from all the, uh, the spray. I wanted to get the spray down in there, but you know, if you leave that on there, it's going to bake onto your pan, and it is going to be a pain to clean. So here's a little tip for you. Take a towel or paper towel and just flatten it like that. Give it a little rub and like circular motions. And we're going to get all of that nonstick cook spray off of uh, pecans. And what I'm going to do is, um, you could use a food processor if you want, or if you don't have a food processor, you could um, put them in a Ziploc bag and just kind of bash the heck out of them. But I have um, this uh, non-electric type food processor. I'm going to put uh, some of the uh, pecans in there. About half of them. And I've got some cinnamon sugar all mixed up. And, you know, everybody does their cinnamon sugar mix. Some people buy it. Um, some of them do their, you know, their cinnamon sugar mix a little bit differently. Mine um, is about uh, three parts sugar to one part um, cinnamon. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. And um, two cups of already ground um, graham cracker. One third cup of sugar. So, let's give that a good mix real quick. Remember that has our sugar, our um, pecan and cinnamon sugar mixture, and our graham cracker. Let's put that in there. We're mix that in. We've still got um, a little bit of that cinnamon. Let's just go ahead and throw the rest of that in there. That was uh, maybe about a teaspoon. And uh, I've got a tablespoon measure. I'm going to put it in there. And we're going to push these all down in a minute. It's a little wooden press. Um, and I'm just going to press it down pretty firm in each one. If you don't have that, use what God gave you, your little fingertips. And you can just push them down like that okay I like this because it kind of makes it like a little indentation and it fits perfectly in this little muffin pan one um, eight ounce portion of cream cheese I buy it in bulk so I've just cut off what I need you can use one um, package of the uh, cream cheese and this is one third cup sugar and now one of my uh, 
secret weapons is um, almond extract. We're going to use about a half teaspoon. This is a teaspoon measure, so we're not going to fill it up. That really gives the cheesecake a uh, distinctive flavor. I'm just going to use my extra uh, blades here. No sense dirty on anything else, right? Because I'm the one who cleans everything around this house. Now I have a pastry bag um, with just a star tip on it. And uh, since I only have two hands, I put it in a cup to do most of the uh, holding it for me. You can see it's starting to come down. I don't want to push it yet because um, our crust isn't out of the oven yet. So I'm just going to leave it right here. And so I'm going to add um, some of the strawberries, a little, and some of the liquid too. You don't want to get too much. And then I've also got some fresh raspberries that I just um, rinsed off and drained in a paper towel. Put uh, five or six. Let's check on our crust there. We're gonna let those cool while we're mixing in uh, this uh, berry mixture. Now I left some um, without the berries mixed in. Because, um, you know, not everybody likes um, strawberries and raspberries. So let's give this a good blend together. Now because there's still going to be chunks of um, berries in here, you're not going to be able to use your pastry bag. But you can just use a spoon. Just kind of push on the edge until it pops out. And then pick it up. Push on the edge, and then it pops out. Okay, we're ready to um, start putting the topping on some of our um, cheesecake bites. As you can see, I've already started. These are the ones with just the um, plain filling, and just simply make a star. As you can see I have two spoons here. And what you're going to kind of do is just kind of make it a little smooth. And then you're just going to place it on. There you go. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we've got our raspberries. And we've got our strawberries. And just place them down on top. Put some on the regular. I'm going to try this one with the berry and the strawberry. Now, Normally I would probably take this in one bite, but you know, since I'm going to be on TV, I'll take two bites. Mmm. Wow. That is so fresh with that strawberry and that cream cheese mixture. These are so good. And this, you'll probably have to make two or three pans because they will be gone like that.